hey RVers and future RVers, how does an RV manufacturer celebrate 10 years? Well, naturally, making the new camper. Grand Design celebrating their 10th anniversary with the 100 series, a product of quality that we've known and learned to love at a price where it all started. The Grand Design 2024 Reflection 100 Series 22RK. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go review this wonderful floor plan. All right, so why a fifth wheel under 27 foot? I'll tell you why. If you're towing a travel trailer that's 27 foot, you're adding three feet of tongue weight, so you're technically towing a 30 foot. With the fifth wheel, you have three feet of the overall length that's in the truck bed, so your footprint print immediately decreases, and the towability factor, far as I should say the maneuverability factor in a 27 foot fifth wheel becomes night and day against a travel trailer. You'll be able to turn. Uh, sharper you'll be able to navigate some of those tight country roads but overall length is the one great aspect to this 22 rk floor plan the overall weight is phenomenal we talk about pin weights when we when we get into fifth wheels this thing is sitting about 1100 pounds that is that means 1100 pounds of sand that's in the back of your truck and how much is that sand going to squat you 1100 pounds in my experience on a fifth wheel is nothing that gets us in the range of some of those smaller um, uh, truck uh, series say like a half ton series by, by chance if it's equipped properly so you don't have to go get a big massive truck to tow this and that way you can save on fuel economy when not only when you're towing but if you unhook leave the camper at the campsite and just go around town you're getting a nice nice uh, little bit uh, back in your wallet as far as the gas other than that the overall width or uh, length it, like i said is coming under just a little bit under 27 pounds or 27 feet but the weight is under 10,000 pounds again we don't need a massive truck to tow this wonderful floor plan so it gives us that flexibility to dive and 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 dodge and weave traffic going down the road and get into those tight campsites that we just love on those um you know, state campgrounds that are that seem to be a little tight when you're when you're navigating but overall, the last thing that I want to just talk about on this nice floor plan is they didn't skimp on the smaller awning. They kept a nice big awning over here so you can really enjoy that party of patio time. Again, the 2024 Grand Design Reflection 100 Series. This is the 22 RK floor plan. All right, we're inside the Grand Design 2024 Reflection 100 Series 22 RK. 100 Series, all new for their 10th anniversary uh, celebration. But I, before we get into the review of this floor plan from back to front, I've got a confession. All the years of camping and the RVs that I've owned have been on the smaller scale. I'm not the uh, camper that gets the big 40 foot fifth wheels. So I'm a little biased on this floor plan. I love it, I love it, I love it. But what I want you to think as you review this uh, floor plan with me is think about a travel trailer that's a 27 foot and what you're gonna compare that to this floor plan and all the wonderful features and aspects of this one over a travel trailer. So let's get started and dive in. Rear kitchen, 22RK, right? I love rear kitchens. When you enter the back door, or the door, I should say, um, here, the kitchen area is first and foremost, so that way when we're in and out, in and out, in and out, a lot of times for food and beverages, I can minimize the traffic flow up front. But man, what do we have here? We have a huge rear kitchen from side to side with a lot of counter space, right? So imagine, you know, coffee pot, all your breakfast uh, uh, pots and pans getting ready for the morning, enjoying that camp and weekend and just wake up refreshed and get that nice vibe. But we have a, a big stainless steel sink to do all the cleanup. We have plenty of drawers and cabinetry uh, up and in, um, in the lower to stow all that gear. So if you're an RVer like, like most of us are, weekenders, you have plenty of space to throw it. But I'm gonna challenge you, if you even go further than a weekend, there's so much storage that you're gonna see in this video that you'll be able to uh, easily take all kinds of gear to hit any climate and long, long trips across the states. Um, we're finishing off the kitchen with a microwave. We've got our um, oven and our three burner cooktop here. 
And of course, a 12 volt refrigerator that's tall and deep to be able to stow all those vittles and all those goodies that, that we need to have when we're camping. But being back here too, I just feel this openness. With a fifth wheel, we're gonna have taller ceilings, which makes the slides, or I should say, gives the uh, Grand Design the ability to, uh, to make a taller slide. So we have the width, we have the height, and we just have the open feeling. So we're not uh, as tight as say like a travel trailer. Living aspect of it, I love how they have it designed. With the kitchen up out of the way, so to speak, now we have a nice uh, livable area. I'm sitting here chilling, relaxing on my recliner. I've got the table opposite of me. I've got the uh, TV opposite of me. So if I have guests over or met some people at the campsite, I can have a nice, wonderful conversation. And with the kitchen in the back, I don't have people coming back and forth and interrupting. So I love the vibe here. I love the style that they have incorporated with this floor plan to just have a, a um, nice happy hour, if you will. Speaking of the dinette, we have a four person dinette, so we could easily stretch out if it's just the two of us, or again, if we have the guests over, we can have a, a nice meal, play some cards, etc. And then above me, again, is opposite of the theater seating for your TV, so great viewing angle. And then they finish off the top side with some more cabinetry that I can stow some more gear up there. So taller ceilings, guess what? Now we have taller cabinetry so we can stow even more gear there. So I'm telling you, this is a nice fifth wheel and we're under 27 foot. Let's go upstairs. All right, so we get into the bathroom and the size is still not, um, uh, how do I want to say it? They're not having to cut anything out just because it's a smaller camper. We still have a nice large bathroom. We have plenty of cabinetry above and below the sink. Of course, we have our still Grand Designs uh, infamous large big shower that's got the head height, got the arm length so I can take a nice warm shower and not feel uh, claustrophobic. Even some a uh, little bit of storage above the toilet here to throw some more uh, towels with a towel rack. So, and this is all finished off of the pocket door which is great so it doesn't swing a, <coughs> excuse me swing out in the way and uh, have to um, impede the, the the traffic flow right let's go into the bedroom last but not least we have our full walk around bedroom again a lot of times with the 27 foot floor plan something is given because you're shrinking everything in we have a full bedroom here we have a, a full queen bed we have all this space It's haunted! All right, so we have all this space at the head of the bed giving us uh, storage. So we, if we're just a weekender, great. But if we are going on longer trips, we can definitely have um, the, the space to, to bring extra gear. Heck, you even have a little bit of storage space underneath the bed that you can throw uh, like extra linens. For example, in my camper, I pretty much have my campers in the past uh, equipped and ready to go for any climate. So if it's a, a, a summer trip, obviously I have a, like a light comforter on the bed, but if I have also stowed uh, underneath my bed for, a, for winter time. So I got my big down comforter ready to go in case I get into some cold climates. We have a nice light at each side. We have uh, charging uh, through through 110 outlets. And at the foot of the bed, we have a couple drawers and a big deep uh, closet here. Shirt closet is wide and deep that I, again, I can stow a ton of stuff in here. And this is all separated with another pocket door, which is great. Again, don't have to worry about a swinging door getting in the way. So what do you think guys? A 20, uh, the new 2024 Grand Design Reflection 100 series, the 22RK, better than a travel trailer? Everybody are with me. You love this floor plan. As I mentioned, I'm biased. I like smaller uh, RVs, I guess, if you will, just because it's, it gives me a little bit more maneuverability, gives me that flexibility to just do, do a, that much more on the fly. But hey, you get a fifth wheel that's so much easier to tow than a travel trailer at a smaller weight, at a smaller length, still gives you a lot of camping ability. And then you have a floor plan that just gives, that just lends that um, wonderful uh, segmentation of the floor plan to do kitchen, living, bath, and sleeping without interruption of anything else. This in my book is 
a super big win. And celebrating their 10th anniversary at a price point that they where they started 10 years ago, again, this is a win-win situation. The 2024 Grand Design Reflection 100 Series 22RK has to be on your shopping list. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Give us a thumbs up if you like. Comment below if there's any questions or anything you want to see further on this fifth wheel. And show us some love, everybody. Smash that subscribe button. We'll see you at the campsites.